My name is Dr. Sana Ara Ahmed. I'm an anesthesiologist and interventional chronic pain specialist. I'm located in Calgary, Alberta, as well as in Toronto, Ontario. My pain practice essentially serves four big components, which is the psychological concept of pain, the pharmacological management of pain, the interventional pain procedures themselves, and then proceeding to place the patient into a rehabilitated state of mind so that they can have full control of their body and be able to manage their pain on their own with my guidance. With me particularly, I have a desire to help women who are suffering in pain, particularly from chronic pelvic pain or neuralgias that have been misunderstood due to the fact that oftentimes women who come in with pain have been often misunderstood by the medical profession. An ultrasound for me provides an opportunity where I can distinguish exactly what I'm seeing be able to identify the nerve I wish to treat, the muscle I wish to treat, or the joint I wish to treat, or the soft tissue aperture such as the tendons, ligaments, or the bursa. By having an ultrasound, I'm able to be very precise, I can give more medication, and I can also supplement it with additional procedures at different intervals due to the fact that I have a specific plan in place now. But the most important thing is I can carry it wherever I need to be, meaning that I can go from room to room. I don't have to worry about pushing a trolley or worrying about damaging something. I can just carry it in my hand. The key to my interventional practice has always been patient safety. My background as an anesthesiologist in the operating room, I've been always doing nerve blocks. I've always been doing some element of interventional procedures to facilitate my patient's pain relief. And now working in the community, all I could think about was how do I actually use my academic training and bring it into a small community in Airdrie and be able to still perform and be able to provide standards of care that I'm used to working in the hospital system. Recognizing that there had been a bit of a gap with my ultrasound use, I went to Chicago back in June and I completed a Anesthesia Society of Regional Anesthesia ultrasound cadaveric course for approximately two or three days. And my time in Chicago just reaffirmed that my colleagues in anesthesia who do pain management are shifting away from the fluoro-based procedures due to the portability need in the operating room is difficult versus being in your office. But most importantly, we can actually treat soft tissue structures that you cannot do with fluoro. When you're working with fluoro, you can only see the bones. And so you're using your anatomical landmarks again to identify where a nerve may be or a bursa may be or where a muscle lays, but you're not actually able to see it. Whereas with an ultrasound, it's distinct. You can see everything. You can see fluid, you can see muscle, you can see a nerve, you can see a joint. And so based upon that, it's really allowing us to be, like I said, a bit more aggressive with our treatments. We treat the whole area, not just one part. So Azra's training with me uh, back in June of this year, just solidified my knowledge and having an ultrasound has been the game changer in the last three to six months.